Hey, Bryce Tubbs here, just answering the question, where to advertise your bookkeeping business? Now, I love this question, right? And the reason why is because there's a lot of misconceptions when it comes to marketing sales and marketing and sales, right? And growing your business. So I want to really clear those things up because I know that if someone had told me this, had taken me by the collar and shaken me, you know, seven years ago when I first got started, it would have been a lot easier for me to grow um, to a multiple six figure um, business where I am now. Now, let's kind of take a step back. So the one thing most people don't understand is like when most people who struggle when it comes to growing their business think advertising about looking for places to push a message. People who struggle look for places. People who win look for people. It's a slightly different thing, right? Because whenever someone's struggling, they're looking for like, can I put it on like an Upwork, a Bark or, you know, a Lineable? Because then they're going to try and maybe the people will start coming, coming to it and then they'll see me. But everybody's doing that. Instead, you need to go directly to the people and have the relationship. If you ever look at, at a lot of like the older people inside of your industry, it's like there's a lot of like seven-year-old accounts. CPAs, bookkeepers, what what have you, right? And when you actually message them and you start talking to them, you ask, how did you grow your business? They're like, networking. Now, that networking does not mean going to networking events. All right, because back then, they, they used to say that everything that was you talking this to an individual and then really like building a friendship, they considered that to be networking. So it wasn't like you just show up to this networking event. It was every time that you speak to somebody <laughs> is networking. Right, and that's really doing my business. So what we have nowadays is we have virtual networking. Okay, so that's the ability to go and utilize. Sorry for touching my eyes so much; like they're really burning right now for some reason. I don't understand why, but you guys have the power to be able to at any hour of the day. This can be at three a.m., one a.m., nine p.m., seven p.m., eight a.m., twelve uh, noon to eleven a.m. You have every single hour, 24 hours in the day to be able to network with business owners and go and grow your firm. So you need to be taking advantage of that, okay? Now, one thing to note though, if you want to know exactly what to say, if you want to kind of skip the line and just not really try and figure this stuff out on your own, there is an open enrollment for the Six Figure Firms Mentorship Program. That's the mentorship program where I take you step-by-step -step by the hand and get you from where you are right now to whatever your goal may be. Some people that's $10,000 a month, some people that's $25,000 a month. Um, right now, my top student is doing about $35,000. It's getting closer to $40,000 a month. Um, but we have a new person inside the program who might actually overtake her um, within the next couple of months. And if you want to go and learn more about that, go ahead and click the link inside the description below to book a call with me to see if I can help you out. If I can help you out, I'm going to make an invitation for you to work with me together. And we're just going to outline what that process looks like. If I can't, I'll point you in the right direction. Um, at the worst case, you're going to have a very clear um, expectation of what you need to do to go grow your business. So if that's you, I'll see you on the call. But anyways, Talking about advertising your business, okay? So you guys need to be thinking about people, okay? So whenever you go to a person, okay, you got to be thinking in terms of what do you say? Like, like when I say, what do you say? Like, how do you, what questions do you ask in order to get the person to start reaching out to you and start telling you their pains or problems and their concerns? Generally for me, I always like encouraging people. When, when you're trying to sell accounting, you're trying to sell like the monthly services, like bookkeeping, um, those kind of services, you need to make sure the business owner is doing well. What most people do is they're just looking for any, any and every business owner, right? You need to be talking to people who are doing well. So one phrase I love to do is say, you know, it sounds like business is booming. Successful business owners, especially the ones that are just starting to become like really successful, they love talking about the success. I'm, I'm like this even to this day. If someone in the real world asks me a question about, you know, my accounting firm or my um, or my mentorship program, it's like, I want to tell everybody. Business owners just don't get enough time or enough show, um, locations to be able to brag about their business. So if you can be that person who they can start bragging to, especially if they were making six figures, but all of a sudden their business just grew overnight. And now they're at like 5 million, 5 million a year, 10 million a year. Those are the guys who you're, and gals that you're trying to target, okay? And those are the ones that are going to come to you the easiest because if you can just be that source of validation for them, then they kind of want to move forward towards that because you're obviously the person that cares enough to ask them about it and you become their friends. And once you start becoming your, their friends, 
it's very easy for you not only to get them to want to be on a call with you, but then they start asking, like, how can your service help them? And then once you have them there, it's just about pricing your services accurately and just asking if they want to sign up. Right now, the second thing that you got to notice inside of there that I was talking about was kind of the relationship that you're building. Now, the reason why relationship is so important is because relationship causes people to start telling you problems that are going on inside their business. So you're, I know earlier I was saying like, we're looking for people who are doing really well. And a lot of people think that just because a business is doing really well means there's no problems. What we're, what we're trying to make sure is they do not have a monetary problem. If they have a monetary problem, they can't pay you. So if business is booming and they're making a lot of money, that means they're probably going to have some operational problems or even some like just um, tracking problems. That's why they hire accountants and bookkeepers to be able to cross their eyes. I'm sorry, dot their eyes and cross their T's to make sure that, that everything that's happening and that's moving so fast is fully accounted for. And that's kind of where we step in. And when you build those relationships, they start telling you about what's going wrong and they start really just kind of revealing. It's almost like sticking um, a spigot in an oil um, barrel, right? So generally there's a barrel and you're just trying to stick it in there, stick it in there, stick it in there, stick it in there. And as soon as you stick it in there in the right spot, everything starts spewing at you. Everything gets easier. And that's when you really hit that kind of vein and you really start moving. Now, the third thing that I want to talk about is the question where to advertise your bookkeeping business is actually a misconception. Because when you're first getting started, you're not trying, even, even if you're going up to about 500,000 um, per year, what I've, what I've observed is the ones that make it the best, they're not the ones that have like a fancy website or they have like all this like marketing stuff. It's really just who knows the most people and that is the only thing that causes you to make more money. The more hands you shake, the more money you make. Okay. So your job is not to advertise your bookkeeping business, like where you're making posts about XYZ, fancy name bookkeeping business. It's more like, hey, I'm Susan. This is what I do. This is my story. This is my background. This is how I help. This is why I help. This is who I help. Um, if you're interested in some help, go and do this thing or talk to me or send me a message, right? Those are the people that make the most money because they're like literally just going and making relationships or making friendships or talking, they're, they're helping, right? So like I, I, have, I have a couple of students inside of the backend mastermind program where it's like just, we work with you for an entire year to go and grow to, our goal is about 500,000 for each person that comes in. Uh, minimum is we're adding an extra $100,000 to your bottom line. Um, and we have like some cool things in there. Now, when it comes to that mastermind, it's called the Abundant Accounting um, Professional. Now, the way that a lot of them are able to kind of go so big and why we're able to make sure they get at least an extra $100,000 um, over the course of the year is because a lot of them have just years and years of years of friendships that they've you know, been making, that they've been building, and they just never really thought to monetize them. They don't really know how to monetize all the success that they have. So it's generally like there's there's a couple like key areas that we can kind of take a look at. And it's like, okay, I can go literally down a checklist saying, did you do this? Did you do this? Did you do this? And generally, if they're already making, you know, $10,000, $15,000, which is kind of like the, the entry point to even be able to be accepted into the mastermind program, like you got to be making between ten dollars to $15,000 per month already, minimum. There's generally a lot of, of opportunities for you to further grow without really doing a lot of extra stuff. For example, the student I'm talking about now, like a lot of people think like the way that you go from, you know, 10,000 a month to $25,000 a month is you just learn how to do advertising. In our business, what it really looks like is you have to be able to take a really clear look of your relationships and just your sphere of influence. And seeing like, where are the different levels? Like, who are your friends? Who are your friends of friends? Who are your clients? Who are your clients' friends? Who are your clients' friends, friends, friends? And we just keep going outward and we keep going outward and we keep going outward. And we try and just go through each of those little levels as fast and as quickly as possible in order to just kind of like, it's almost like wringing out, wringing out like a, a, a wet towel. We're just, mm, just trying to squeeze out every single last drop. And it's so interesting how that worked because like I, I never I had never really understood how easy it was 
to kind of grow that fast until I started looking at some of these guys. And I was like, okay, wait, so we haven't talked to any strangers yet? No, I haven't talked to any strangers yet. You just added $400,000 in recurring revenue. That's 400000 per year in recurring revenue. And you didn't even talk to anybody new? Yeah. You just kind of opened my eyes into looking at it a slightly different way of how to utilize that network and just utilize utilize every person I've ever come in contact with to just grow the business like that. And it's it's just crazy. I think this this guy I'm talking about, he might actually be able to go and grow to seven figures and within the next um, 12 to 15 months, he might be able to. Um, that's going to be really cool to kind of see that happen. I think, I think what's going to happen is if he breaks um, about seven figures, that's probably going to take just my business and just my confidence and like the ability to teach people to an entirely new level. Um, Cause you know, when you get up to that, that level, it's almost like just, just things open up. Like the way that I talk to some of the, the beginner students is incredibly different than how I used to. Cause it's just like, Oh my gosh, I, I, it kind of opened my mind to like how easy it is for you guys to really make money and like how it's not necessarily the amount of money you make is not necessarily in direct proportion to the amount of time that you've been in business. I used to think that you would have to like collect a certain number of leads because this is how I came up. Like I would, I had like a LinkedIn account. I still have that LinkedIn account where it's like, I was just talking to so many people and I just kept circling through the list and I kept building those relationships until people started buying with me, right? But that took, that took time. That took time for me to develop that skill set to develop all the sales call. And I see, see some of these newer guys and it's just like, oh my gosh, man six grand a month client, eight grand a month client, 10 grand a month client. And it's just like, oh my gosh, man. Man, if I, if I had access to something like that when I was getting started, do that shoe, man. But that's also why like makes sense. Like if you're watching this for you to like join like a program like that, like where you're not only surrounded by like, like me, cause right. Cause I, I'm good at teaching people how to go and get to that next level and get to the, you know, six figure business, but you're also around people that are also making it happen. So you just keep getting reminders that like this stuff is possible. This stuff is real that you can grow so much faster. And then it's just, it's like, it's less about the tactics we use. Like, I don't have to just at first, I teach you like what to say, where to go, how to say it, and, and what to do. But after a while, it's kind of like you just start becoming, you be, you just start like becoming like a magnet to money, and it's almost like just just you just go into different situations, and the money just starts coming coming into your life, right? Like we have students where they make money just by going to church services, and just talking like two or three people about what they do in their business. We have other people. We've gotten people clients just walking through the grocery store. Because they just became a friendly person who talks to everybody about what they do. And it's just like, they just, just totally change. We have like people who are like introverts and they just, they never have to leave their house. And then they just kind of grow because they can just talk to anybody on Facebook or on Instagram. People just start sending them referrals and start sending them leads. I think my phone just died. That's weird. But yeah, man, like this stuff just gets so easy, but it all starts with being around the right people, okay? Because if you're asking like where to advertise your business, that's the wrong question. It needs to be how to, where to put myself so my business just starts growing. And once you can really answer that question and once you can do that consistently, you just know without a shadow of a doubt that if you just go to this place, if you talk to this kind of person, if you know exactly what to look for, that's when you're never going to have problems with money again. And then the next order problem we're going to have is you have too much money and you have too many clients and I have to show you how to outsource it. Um, so it's not taking your time. It becomes more passive income. Now, if you want some help, man, maybe you're just getting started. Maybe maybe you have a couple clients and, and you don't really know what to do next to go and get to, you know, 10 grand, 12 grand, 15 grand a month. I invite you to go and book a call. I guess it, it, it can be a little intimidating to go and book a call with someone like myself where, you know, at the end of the call, like we're going to be talking about like the pricing of the program and working together. But at the same time, it's like that's what it takes for you to be good at sales. If you get scared about talking about money or talking about the pricing of, of a program or to sign up with somebody, it's very hard for, you know, you to like be comfortable with selling a $1,000 a month clients, $2,000 a month clients, $5,000 a month clients. So if you want to really get good at that, you got to get in more selling situations. You got to be comfortable, you know, being sold to. If you want to sell, you got to be good with being sold to. So if that's you, come on the phone. Like, let's talk. Let's first, we're going to see like, where are you right now? We're going to see where do you want to go? Then thirdly, if I think it can help, I'll just outline what that process looks like. And we can talk about working together long-term. If it makes sense, like you can even get onboarded on the call and give you all the stuff that we need to get started. And then we just move forward and we go and reach your goals together. 
if that's you, I'll, I'll see you on the call. I can't wait to talk to you. Um, if you're not quite ready right now, there's no harm, no foul. I've been there. I, I've been the person where, you know, I, I waited two months, three months before I like sign up for a program. I've also been the, per the person where I met someone like the day before and I end up giving them $7,000 the next day. So, you know, it's really just comes down to like, are you ready? And when you're ready, just come on. I'll talk to you. We can do this thing. Let's zoom it together. Let's go and attack this world. Let's go and reach your goals. Okay. So I will talk to you soon. I'll see you later. Have a great evening and a great day.